beautiful plasma arrays are easy to build, but how do you get this effect and avoid this effect? Yeah, just sparking over like crazy. And then what's going on during the day when you can't see it? Is it still doing the same thing? Yeah, it is, but you just can't see it because it's not nighttime. Let's take a look at how it's done. The first thing we need to do is just set this thing up. So what we're looking for is the saw blades to be equal distance from whatever object we put in the center. In this case, it was just a di double helix project I had left over. So what I did is set them equal distance apart. They're about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half away from the double helix. And what it does when you move it too close, it starts to spark. When it stays far enough away, it hisses. And then if it's too far away, it won't do anything. Once you have the hiss, turn off the lights and you'll get this. Let's take a look at this other project. I built a coil around a uh, all thread and I was trying to get it to spark around in a circle all the way up. The voltage doesn't work that way. I went ahead and changed the coils just down to one coil so that you can see what it actually was doing. On this one I just offset the coil a little bit so it'll go high and low. Here's the power source. Here's the battery right here I used for my drill. This is a 1000 watt ZVS and an AC flyback. And this is my voltage multiplier circuit. The negative of the voltage multiplier circuit goes to the all thread. I put it underneath so that it doesn't come in contact with the positive. The positive goes over to the ring itself. Once you connect all those, it's time to light it up. If you're wondering how I built the voltage multiplier or the circuit itself that you just saw, I will add a video to the end of this one and you can go ahead and watch it and I do the complete build on it. I wanted to show you two more things here with this coil that I thought were really cool. This one here, when you put the voltage into it, you see it sparking over. You can also see the, the lights coming out today. Uh, it's no longer nighttime. So you can see just barely some plasma in there. Uh, but the coil does move uh, as you turn it on because it wants to roll towards the saw blade. You're probably wondering the other experiments with the coil. If you get something down the center, can you get it to light up? Well, yeah, I could. Unfortunately, the lighting outside just got a little lighter and uh, it changed the effect, but it looks cool. As you could probably tell with a lot of high voltage projects I do, I use these saw blades because they are just awesome for putting out plasma. If you like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe. Also comment, and if you have a link to a project you want me to see that is on YouTube, go ahead and leave the link.